freaking fix it. Can, let me see if I fixed it. Someone's saying, no sound, no sound. Can you hear now? Hey, Missy, it's happened again. Um, good morning, you guys. My name is Grace from the company Nest with Grace. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Barbara says, yes. Thank you, Barbara. Wow. <laughs> Phew! Cheryl says, I can hear you now. Oh my goodness. That's a good way to start when you can hear me. So welcome, welcome. This is um, the company Nest with Grace. I'm going to be decorating a glue book. I will tell you more about that in a minute. I am a member of the Craft Round the Clock group, and I am here as a member sharing. So this will get shared inside the free group, Craft Round the Clock, where you can find other creatives and me crafting round the clock, Monday through Friday from about 6 a.m. till 10.30 p.m. No event needed, no special occasion, just crafting because we love it and we love to share. So hello, thank you, Joan, for letting me know. Hey, Tamara, hey, Tech VFF. Good, I'm so glad, Anne Marie. Thanks for telling me right away, you guys, that you couldn't hear me. Uh, that was an easy fix. Just I just had to get to the right button. Okay, so we're gonna decorate a glue book. So you might be wondering what the heck is a glue book? I love making glue books. Um, the way I make glue books, and there's probably many different ways you can do it, um, but the way I do it is I start with junk mail. So it's kind of a, it's a kind of way of junk journaling. Um, I start with junk mail. Sorry, North Dakota Telephone Company, but I go through their quarterly newsletter. Uh, we get this in the mail. It's like a magazine and I go through it. And then when I'm done reading it or going through it, instead of throwing it out, um, this one, I've started to fold the pages to make it like this one. So I fold the pages up, or I, I make them whatever shape or size I want to. Um, and you can do this with any junk mail. It's super fun. And then we cover those pages with papers and tape and, and rice paper, any like napkins, anything that you want to cover it with. And then you start creating it like here. I put a little piece of decorative paper there to create a little folder. Um, you start decorating it. So this one is completely blank other than that folder that's that's in there. Whoop, av avalanche of supplies, avalanche. Um, this one is completely blank other than that little folder that I created there. Waiting for creative juices to let go in there. This one's a little one. Just wanted to show you. You can do big ones. You can do little ones. This one is completely decorated. This was my Beach Babes glue book. Oh my goodness, did this inside the Craft Therapy Club, my paid membership group, where I taught how to create these from start to finish. And then we had a lot of fun giggling and decorating this with vintage beef beach babes. Um, so anyway, that's a glue book. I have one here that I've been working on, so I thought I'd share a little bit of the decorating part of this with you. Let me check the comments and say hello to everybody. I'm so glad you guys can hear me. Hello, Minnie from California. It's Minnie's first time here. So Crafty Chicks, give her a warm welcome. We're so excited to have you. Let me know if you found me. Did you find me through the Craft Around the Clock group, Minnie, or anybody who's new here? Or how did you how did you make your way over here to the, the company us with Grace? Um, I, let me fix this avalanche of things. <laughs> it happens. It happens. My desk, look at all this stuff, you guys. You guys who know me. I went through my bits and bobs basket. It's where I throw all the leftovers from projects. Um, I went through it and I grabbed all the fabrics that were in there because I want to do a little bit of fabric in here as layering. Hi, Anita. Oh, you guys are so sweet to keep welcoming Minnie. Good morning, Rhonda. Hello, hello. Joy, you're so sweet. I love you guys so much. I, <laughs> Debbie says it's so cool. That junk mail. Don't throw out the junk mail. We can turn it into really cool things. And actually, those kind of books, let's make really sturdy books to play in. Um, so if you like junk journaling, you may like making glue books out of junk journals and decorating them. So let me get you on my table alone here, like meaning, you, you know, not seeing my face, but let's get the table here so that I can start decorating this with you guys. And well, let's just have some fun with it. So the book that I'm working on is this little it's this little one. I already have done a few things in it. This one, you know, the cover. I love, absolutely love doing collage work. Um, so most of these pages in this book, I use the same paper pack to cover the pages. Um, and I use some washi tape, but I tried to get a couple of these vintage girls on each one of the pages so that, you know, it had a theme 
to it. Like there's a vintage woman there with her bonnet on. Here's, well, I got part of a woman and then there's a woman's face. So this is all from the same paper pack. And I like the decorative paper so much that I don't mind, like on this page, these two pages, I added a little piece of paper back there, a little piece of, um, I dyed some cheesecloth and then this beautiful chair, which came, it's just a chipboard that came from this all about her die cut set that one of you crafty chicks sent me. So it comes with all these gorgeous die cuts. So we'll probably use these in here today as well as some of the fabrics. And we're going to start collaging and layering and decorating pages. I, you guys, <laughs> Listen to what Tamara says. Tamara says, hopefully no craft lunch this morning. Yesterday in the craft therapy club, I had a major, um, it was a major crash boom bang, like behind me, major avalanche. So, and we, Tamara refers to it as a craft lunch. Yeah, girls, have you ever had that happen? Just when you've got loads of stuff piled on top of each other. It happens to me all the time. Oh, thanks. It, Anne from Whimsically Knotted. She's giving everybody, all the new crafty chicks and friends, a big shout out. Welcome. So thanks for doing that, you guys. Um, Barb says, Telegram. <laughs> I love this comment. Telegram text BFF. Yes, those of you who are my Telegram channel getting um, text alerts when I go live. That's so fun to be able to get the little alert so you can grab a cup of coffee or tea and join me. Good snowy morning in Northwest Ohio, Patty. Okay, so let's get decorating. So this page actually... <laughs> I'll show you this page real quick. I, I consider this page done for me. I'm really happy with it. Go to the second page, done. Thrilled with this page, actually. These were um, embellishments that we made using washi tape and, you know, cardboard or like cereal boxes. And then we put, we cut them into shapes. Oh, we use markers and paint and stuff to make the actual chipboard parts of it. And then we, we connected them together, like making them hinges. We made shapes and then cut them in half. Anyway, this is one from a recent craft uh, therapy club project workshop that I taught and I used it. I just thought this was so stinking funny. You guys, I, you, I wanted to use it in the book and I was trying to show the girls some ways that you can use them in your junk journals. And I came up with this little clever plan to put one of Tim Holtz people behind it. And then this, this is one of Tim Holtz snarky sayings. It says, I've got a good heart, but this mouth. And I just, to me, I was giggling so much when I made this. And about every time that I open this page, I giggle. I love the movement. I love interactive pages. Um, it feels like a kid's book almost, but for grownups, <laughs> isn't that so fun? Oh, Tina, J Tina saying a joy. I miss seeing you girl. Yeah. Joy. You guys are so sweet to each other. Hi, Darlene in Georgia. Welcome, welcome, friend. Good morning, Sandy. Stephanie's drinking cold coffee this morning. Well, good for you. So anyway, some of these pages still need some work. So I was thinking I'd work on these pages. So that's what we're going to do. And I had an idea. I actually saw another crafter um, in a project she was sharing. She did something similar to this. It wasn't with washi tape, but I thought I would use washi tape. So I have a scrap. Where did it go? Got lost in the crash boom bang. I have a scrap of washi tape here somewhere. Did it fall on the floor? Oh, well. Um, but that's, it was actually the scrap of washi tape that I can't find right now that, that prompted me to, to do this with washi tape. The woman that I saw do it, did it with, um, I think just paper scraps, but I'm gonna, I have so much washi tape, you guys. It's literally not even funny. Oh, I see where it is. Hold on, girls. So in my bits and bob basket, I, I had this extra crinkled up piece of washi tape. And then this is the set that it comes from. So I thought we would do like a version of what that other lady did. I don't know who she is. I just saw somebody crafting. It actually was a photo that she shared in one of the groups. Um, anyway inspired by someone else. We're just going to start decorating. And I can get absolutely lost in this process for hours, you guys. I find it extremely rewarding, extremely relaxing. And that's what I will always encourage you to crafty chicks to do is to enjoy your crafting and creating. Enjoy the whole process of it. I'm trying to get this separated, you guys. Sometimes, you know, and it would, you know, would do it on a live to give you more trouble than it usually does, right? Because why not? Why not make a girl sweat? 
sorry here. If I can get through, when you use washi tape, if you're a washi tape lover, you know this. Some of them come with backings, and the backing is so, so thin, as is the washi tape. There we go. We got it. All right, washi tape, as gorgeous as it is, and this one has some foil in it. Look at that. It's got some roses and foil, and I thought it was feminine, and, you know, it kind of goes with the theme here um, with the girls in the book. Whenever you're using it in your books, if, it, if you want it, need it to be permanent, please make sure that you put some extra glue on it because it will not stay. Stay. It's repositionable. It's meant to be temporary, low tack. So make sure that it stays by adding some extra glue. This is not the paper I wanted. Hold on. Oh, now look at <laughs> got stuff sticking to me. I wanted, I've been using this rice paper lately and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So I'm going to grab a little piece of this. It's gorgeous washi tape, right, Cindy? Isn't that so pretty? I think this could kind of be fun to layer. I'm going to layer some things. This has a big leaf in it. It's washi tape or um, rice paper that has no graphic on it. It's just got some botanicals kind of running through it. So I'm going to start on the very bottom and I'm going to run this over from one edge to the other. And I'm going to start just layering some of these because I thought this could kind of be fun way to display some washi tape and thicken up the pages. I want this to not be as long as the other one though. So let's rip off a little bit of this. And the colors kind of go together. You know, this does have some greens in it and this has the botanicals and green in it. So I'm going to do a couple of those. Um, this has gold foil. That's this tape right here with the gold foil. And it came in this pack. This is how I organize my tapes, you guys. If it comes in a coordinating pack, I tie it with a ribbon or a piece of like leftover jute just so that I don't lose track of it. And they all stay together because I know they all go as a coordinating set. So let's grab a little piece of this. And I think what I'll do... Got to keep that on there. I think I'm going to tear the edges so that, yep, they're already torn. I think I'll make this a little shorter. Let's see. So when I decorate my pages, you guys, I usually do quite a bit of layering before I end up putting any focal points on. So that's what you see me doing here. And if you have any questions about junk journaling or glue booking or any of that, um, <laughs> I'm looking at Joy's comment about about missing a lot lately. It's hit or miss. Um, if you have any questions about the, this whole process or what you're seeing today, don't be afraid to ask. I have been crafting for a really, really long time and I've gotten to the point where I don't have any room anymore for wooden boards or, um, you know, mason jars that I've, I've painted or wooden crates and boxes that I've stenciled on or canvases that I've painted on, you name it. Um, I just don't have any more room in my house. <laughs> so I've turned in the last few years to creating in books and I'm absolutely loving it. And I love sharing it with you guys because I hope it's just inspiring and it helps you to use up your stash. I love to make things out of, you know, junk. So junk mail, um, food boxes, um, and making them pretty with all the stuff that I already have in my stash. So if that's something that you think you'd enjoy, you might want to follow the page just to see more of it, see more of it in the future. That washi tape is so beautiful. This, thank you. <laughs> this is from the washi tape shop. I do have a coupon code there. If you ever want to shop the washi tape shop, they have the most gorgeous, I can't get this one to line up um, with the others. They have the most gorgeous tapes, and I really am a fan of foil tapes, you know, tapes that have foil embedded in them because I just think they're so pretty. Okay, so I have all these little things around me that came from my Bits and Bobs folder. I mean, I have some more of the pieces that we made in the Craft Therapy Club when we made this. Um, with This was all started with washi tape. Um, or this one might've been out of scrap papers and book pages, but I have all these little embellishments around me that could be used. They're made out of like cart, like cereal boxes and papers, and they just make for really pretty layering and interesting. I just think they're really interesting too. Besides being pretty, I think it's just visually interesting to look at this like conglomerate of stuff that I know I've made 
you know, my own two hands and all my stuff that I have in my room here, this avalanche of stuff I've made into pretty little embellishments for my books. And um, I encourage you guys to just get your fingers wet with glue, wet with paint, whatever you like to work with and just create. How many of you, I wonder how many of you, or maybe I should, instead of asking how many of you do it daily, how many or how often, if you're a creative and you love to create and craft, how often do you get to do that? I'm just curious if you'd share with me. See, I love when we add these thicker pieces or anything onto these pages, it just thickens them up and makes them more, just more, <laughs> thicker and more established and more. Um, I'm checking, I wanna see this conversation of these comments about how often do you create, how often, and um, what kind of creating do you like to do? <laughs> Cindy says, that's so me. Good morning in East Tennessee, Ms. Carmen, I see you. Hi, Dorinda. Oh, good, <laughs> Carmen. So right, so you were saying, good way to keep your uh, washi tapes together. So take a peek up here. See this right here, <laughs> this wall? It's my wall of tapes. There's my camera that I'm broadcasting from. But this, I, I used to be a sewer. I used to quilt and sew. Um, I love working with fabrics, but I don't make quilts anymore. But that was my thread holder <laughs> for my sewing, my um bobs of thread my bobbins of thread so i have my husband put it up on the wall and that's my washi tapes i got all my washi tapes up there and um the ones that i had already started putting on rolls if it's a coordinating set i left them on their rolls and i just hang them from the bottom rung and all the other ones are sitting up top so if you have or if you see if you have a lot of washi tape and you're wondering like a handy way to have them i can see them all at once i used to have them in like a little rubbermaid tote couldn't see them all at once i had to dig through there it was just disorganized i love doing it this way so there's another tip for you um carmen says this kind of crafting is always <laughs> it's, it's just for me <laughs> good um, Darlene says, I've never done any scrapbooking, just the other stuff you mentioned, but looks interesting and fun. It's so fun. It's so fun. And it's really fun to go through your pages, especially if they're interactive and just, it's like a collection of all the pretty things that you've collected in your craft space, the papers and the tapes and the tissue paper and the rice paper. I have a lot of papers. I love paper crafting, um, but the fabrics, even fabric scraps, um, it's just a really fun way to use them all up. So I have these fabric tapes that I have not been using. And the only reason I haven't been using them, girls, for those of you that saw me open this when I got it, is it is not very tacky. It just does not stick very well. But I do love, I just think it's so beautiful. Maybe we could use a piece of this as background. This has a really pretty green butterfly on it. It's sticky. But it's even less tack than the washi tape, if you can believe it. If you're a washi tape lover, you would know that that's not very tacky. It has a really pretty little butterfly on it, though. See that? And the green matches the book. I mean, the red, I'm adding little splashes of color in here. But, like, the majority of the book is very neutral with a little bit of color on the pages. So let's add a bigger pop of color here. I wish I had thought of this before I put this down. So maybe I could put this, well, it can span over two pages and this is fabric. So let's put it here. I'm gonna reinforce the back with my permanent glue stick. So I was thinking about this this morning um, and let me share with you. Michelle says, I've never seen anything like this. Can you please tell me the purpose? Oh, it's just for fun, Michelle. Michelle wants to know what's the purpose of this book. Listen, Michelle. I love, love, love to create. I love playing with my supplies and making pretty things, but I don't have any more room in my house for boards or, you know, wooden crates or baskets or all the things that we get our hands on and we, we decorate and create. I don't have any more room for that stuff. So I've turned to creating in books and I just find it such a like relaxing therapy for me to get a piece of junk mail and turn it into something really pretty and then be able to flip through it the books literally give me joy when i flip through them literally like i it just it's almost like when you used to scrapbook and you look through the pages that you created ages ago 
it just brings you back to that time and how much fun you had making the book, for example. I shared this with my craft therapy club members. We made it inside that group. So I just remember distinctively the times when we got together and we just giggled about these beach babes. And I had so many more beach babes to share. I just couldn't fit them all in the book. So we had conversations about which one. Like These girls are all just crazy on the beach. <laughs> They're just being wild. So I found this to put Let the Shenanigans Begin. It's just really a way to be creative in a small space, a book that can go up on a shelf and you can admire for years to come. Just enjoy or gift them away. We talk a lot about gifting them to people and leaving spaces for journaling. If you have a, a journal lover, you can make it into a journal and leave spaces for them to write. I don't write a whole lot in my journals. I just love to decorate the pages. So that's why I do it, Michelle, purely for the fun of it without having to have all these like big chunky pieces around my house. I can create and stencil and stamp and do all the things I love in a book form. Um, so anyway, that's why I do it. Okay, so we got this little splash of color here. Now I wanna find something maybe from in here, like a focal point to put on this page. Um, probably not a butterfly because I already have one. Those roses are really pretty, but I'll start going through these. Oh boy. Oh, look at these ladies. Fancy, fancy. Um, I really love this. Look at this big flower. Thank you to whoever it was. I don't remember which crafty chick, which of you sent me this, you sent me two die cut packs and I've been using them. I mean, it was like over a year ago, I've been using them. And they're great for putting in your glue books because you just glue them in and it's a focal point that's already put together for you. And you have so many to choose from. Whoops, little flower, don't get stuck. Oh, I love that. I love that right there. And then the little green butterfly right next to it. I might, okay, first of all, it's got some poke outs I think here. Does it? Oh no, they're not poke outs. I thought here, this space right here would poke out and it doesn't, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I might just, I have to decide how tall do I want this thing? Yeah, I might just put it there or maybe I want to overlap it or put it under. I love, I love playing <laughs> with this stuff and I love layering so much. I love it. Love it. Um, Nancy creates about once a week. I know. And she says only, unfortunately, Nancy, I get it, girl. I get it. It's so hard to find the time. And if you don't have a designated space, I mean, how many of you are in that situation where you have a box that you work out of that you pull out every time you want to create and you have to re situate yourself on the dining room table or the kitchen table. I get it. I used to live like that too. Um, so there are many challenges in work, family, <laughs> the pets, they all take a little bit, just a little bit of our time. So I get it. I get it. But once a week, you keep doing that because it, if it brings your heart a little joy, I say keep doing it. Um, Regina sews at least about once a week on the weekends and tend to do paper crafts in the evenings a couple of times a week. Go, Regina. Get it, girl. Uh, Maureen tries to go every day, even if only 10 minutes. I love that. I love that. She says, I try to create every day, even if it's only 10 minutes, that's that little bit of therapy time, like that little bit of, you know, just get your creative stuff going and, and just enjoy it time. So good for you. I'm glad, Maureen, that you do that. Um, Joy says, all things paper, of course, and fabric is my favorite. You dabble in it all. Joy is the perfect craft therapy club member. Um, we dabble. We love to just do a little bit of everything. I do a lot of book work in that group. Um, we've done book bindings and junk journals and we do art journaling on the regular in there. Um, so it's, it's book based, but the group is four and a half years old and there are over 70 workshops in that group that are video recorded with templates and supply lists so that you can think of it like a little Netflix of the art world. <laughs> you can go in there and grab a project, watch the video, print the template, print the supply list that goes with it and just create alongside us. So you're all welcome to check that group out. It's my craft therapy club. It's $15 a month. You can cancel anytime. And what is today? Today's the 25th. So if you joined today, you wouldn't get charged again until February 28th for the next month. So feel free to check it out. Okay. I'm looking 
here in this book to see if there's any other thing. This book, this feels a little bit full to me. And actually, maybe what I'll do, instead of adding another um, die cut, maybe I'll just add a little, a splash of color. Maybe another piece of washi tape or a piece of fabric or something. Something, I feel like right in here, I want to make that more cohesive and I, I'm not sure how. I don't know if a piece of fabric would be best. Maybe a ribbon, a piece of lace. I have all these little chunks of lace that um, were in my bits and bobs folder or basket. This is a really pretty piece of cheesecloth. I know, you guys, I get excited about the littlest things. Let me get you on the table cam, the create cam. Um, I get excited about the littlest stinking things. Judith tries to create every day. Go Judith, go Judith, it's your craft day. Go Judith, that's so exciting. I love it. Okay, yes, this little swatch, I'm loving it. It's so, I don't know why, I love the texture of it. I love the fray of it. If I can get the fray to poke up and to stay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the glue in the center of the fabric, like a dot of glue in the center. And we're gonna stick this down here. I don't know why, just because, I mean, fabric is beautiful. <laughs> it adds a bit of like, I love using fabric in my books. I love it because it adds a little dimension and softness and just inter you're like interested in it. You're like, what is going on here? What's going on here is Grace wanted a piece of fabric on her page. I'm going to glue that part down too, but I, I purposefully am trying not to glue the fringe and you notice I didn't cut it off. It's messy and I like it. <laughs> it's messy and I like it. Now this little guy here, I feel like he's getting lost. So I'm gonna grab a marker of, I don't know what color, let's see what we can find. A marker or your Stabilo All pencil, maybe this brown, is this a brush tip? No, let's see. I may just come in, yeah. I'm just gonna darken, like add some shadows with a brown fine tip Faber-Castell. I'm gonna get this to try to pop off the page a little more. And I'm gonna go around the outline of the die, the die cut, and I'm going to try to make it, see how I'm going back and forth and I'm not worried about being super perfect here. I don't, I'm not trying to make it, um, I want it to be noticeable. So if I didn't want it to be noticeable, if I wanted it to be real faint, I'd be really close and trying to get underneath the flower, but that's not my style. I'm like a messy girl. Like <laughs> I want it to be bold and messy. So I'm gonna get in there around the whole entire shape of the leaves and the flower itself. Watch out fabric. Um, and I'm just gonna create a messy outline so that this stands out more on the page. I just love getting my markers out and all my things and just playing with them. So, I mean, who doesn't love that? <laughs> who doesn't love doing that? Let me see if you guys, I can zoom you in at all. No, it won't let me zoom you in right now. Um, Joyce creates daily because she crochets, so she does a little bit every day, even if it's just a couple of stitches. You know what you just reminded me of, Joyce, when you shared that comment? Thank you for sharing that. Let me... Let me get that up. There's that beautiful Joyce on there. Um, what, what you reminded me of is, it reminds me of people who read books, you know, avidly, like daily. I have a, a friend and a sister, my sister Kathy, loves to read. And I think she pretty much reads daily, no matter what's going on. You guys, even if she's reading for 10 minutes a day, she gets her book out. It's her little bit of me time. And she's going to get her book out and she's going to, she's going to give herself that gift of 10 minutes with her coffee and her, or her tea and her book. So why can't our crafting be the same way? I mean, really craft daily, I say, all right. I wanted this to be woo, really messy on this side. Okay. I just wanted that to pop a little more. So by adding that outside outline, I like it messy, but I always say, girl, you do you. You don't like messy, then you'd be super neat. And get my sis this would drive my sister crazy. The Kathy, if you're out there, like these scribble marks, she would be like, Grace, 
really? Yes, really. I like it that way. I like it chaotic and messy. <laughs> if you like it more perfect, then go perfect, girl. Um, Tita says, lately I haven't been crafting as much as I want to. Too many doctor's appointments and work. Yes, life gets in the way sometime, Tita. You'll get back to it, my love. You'll get back to it. And hopefully you've been able to catch a few snippets here and there inside the craft um, therapy club. Or, you know, anywhere for getting some more inspiration. Oh, thanks, Anne. She's so beautiful. Um, hello, Katana. Michelle says she thinks this is exciting. Thank you for responding. Well, you're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. People ask me all the time, what is like, what is the point of these books? It is literally for the pure joy of creating. <gasps> you guys, everybody wish Stephanie a happy birthday. Happy Wait, Stephanie, I want you to see me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm giving you like a lift up. Girl, I'm lifting you up. Happy 50th birthday. You and me, I just turned 50 in December. So I'm right ahead of you. <laughs> I beat you to it. Welcome to the 50s, Miss Stephanie, our loyal crafty chicken friend here. Um, not chicken friend. She's not a chicken. Chick and friend. <laughs> she, she's not a chicken. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to call you. I didn't mean to call you a chicken, Stephanie, but I guess I always call you guys crafty chicks, so that shouldn't be so surprising. Um, Regina says my little round dining table has been used so much for crafting, and I'm going to have to decorate the top of it. Go for it, girl. Make it pretty. Paint it. Paint it away. Um, oh, Lori says the advantage of being um, retired is I get to, I get to create every day. Yes, Judith, everybody. Judith says, you need me time. We all do. And I think she's talking to each and every one of you who are here with us hanging out today. I just finished watching the Watch and Broom workshop, Missy says. <laughs> the witch, the witch. I think she means the witch and the broom. Oh, Missy is one of our craft therapy club members. She said, I just got through watching the Witch and Broom workshop. And she said, OMG, I love everyone's paintings. Oh, so that's... I'm glad you brought that up, Missy, because that's one of the other features inside that club is that once everybody's done with their projects, I encourage them to share photos of their projects so that everybody can see. And one Halloween, we did a witch with her broom. Um, and that's what she's referring to there is I can't wait to I can't wait to do my own. Good for you. So she's going through that like library of stuff in that group. You've been really getting your money's worth, Missy, by taking advantage of all those workshops. Hey, Laura Allen Wilson. It's okay that you're late. I'm so glad you're here. Minnie says that Stephanie's a youngster. Why, Minnie? You're so sweet. Everybody's wishing Stephanie a happy birthday. All right, I like this page. You can always add more. That's the other thing about the books, you guys. You can, you know, if you come back to a page and you decide, I do want to decorate on this side, it's always available to you. This little collection of things that you've done over time. It's always available for you to go in and make adjustments. But right now I'm loving this. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. I might stick a piece of fabric in here. I think this is dry, my glue stick, but just in case I'm going to stick that in there so the pages don't stick together. Okay, now we're on to this side. I need a little clippy because my book keeps wanting to open on me. Um, I have these fabulous ladies here and I don't necessarily want to lose them. And I have a start of a collage here. Um, so I just, I just go through my stash of stuff and I start looking for something that might make sense here. Um, we got fashionable ladies. So what might make sense? I'm going to put this up like this so maybe you can see it better. I like the telephone a lot. I did see the telephone earlier. It's like one of those old fashioned and there's some perfume bottles and some florals. Oh, good gravy. All the things, just so many cool things to play with. All right, this one, let's see if we can get it out of here without damaging it. And this one does have a peek through here that comes through. And I think it has a second one. Yes, it does right here. You pop out that little piece of paper. Okay, let's see about this on this page. Now, if I put this on this page, it wants to get lost here. So I need to put something behind it to make it stick out more. Even if it's just like, you know, a little piece of paper or something. So I'm going to grab, let's see, maybe some book pages that I have close by. I think I threw them in one of my bits and bobs. Yeah. So I have some coffee stain. This is just like a Harlequin novel from the thrift store. And I draw the pages. 
um, and coffee stain them. I love to use little book pages. I actually really like, you know, when some things get stained and others don't. So maybe we'll just take a little chunk of one of these and put it behind here. But I don't, I don't want to cover up my tapes necessarily. Um, I really, I want to keep that, that white part. I love that. But I want this to be smaller, so I'm going to go like this. Maybe that there. And actually, maybe I'll put that there and this other part of it right there. And maybe a piece of fabric or a lace or something. So you guys, oh my gosh, I didn't realize all this fabric and ribbon and lace and stuff came from my Bits and Bobs basket. It was like, it's overloaded with stuff. Um, this is kind of like a plaid scrap of fabric, but it has like that army green color in it. What would that look if I smash that in there and then put the phone on top of it? I like this, except I don't like the shape of the fabric. It's too square and perfect. It probably came from a fabric project I was working on. Um, Chrissy says, oh, I love this comment, Chrissy. She says, I have an old calendar book that I want to turn into an art journal of, of pictures that I have drawn or painted. Girl, get it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, my friend. Um, I think that is a fabulous idea. And what a, what a treasure that would be to have all of your, your paintings and your pieces inside one book, right? And you can flip through them. Girls, who took my scissors? <laughs> what is going on right now? All right, different bank off. We have like 70 pairs of scissors, right? <laughs> All right, I want this to be kind of wonky. I don't want it to be perfectly straight. So I'm going to rip. And yeah, I want it to be, I'm going to like cut this at a jagged angle so it doesn't look so stinking perfect. Nothing makes me happier than finding it's like the it's like the land of misfit craft supplies my bits and bobs folder and I go into it all the time to find little misfit things that never found a home and yet I'm gonna make you glorious <laughs> my mission in life little piece of fabric is to give you a glorious home here maybe you want to be with a piece of rice paper maybe the rice paper behind it's like a sandwich of misfit craft supplies and all together they make something really pretty and interesting to look at. And the more, um, to me anyway, the more, you know what, the more um, stuff you mash together, the more interesting it is to me. I like that better without the fabric, actually. Okay, where's my glue? Girls, I keep losing things. All right, glue stick, just at some point, you just got to commit. <laughs> I do like to give a general, like a rough guideline for myself of what do I think I'm doing here? And then once I'm sure, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I can at least get these stuck down here. Um, you know, when I'm trying to like play with everything, it all gets moving around and that's agitating. So I try to just, uh, let me stick down what I know is going down. Look at this little bit of like leftover ribbon. I know any other day I would have thrown it out, but maybe it could be something yeah, it's kind of gnarly and fun. Let's do it. We'll put this down here. This is just a little scrap of rice paper, leftover rice paper. And then this is a little heavy. I hope my glue stick will work. I'm going to really load up the pearls here with some glue. I'm going to stick this over here so it's kind of gnarly piece of fabric. <laughs> Looks like a caterpillar, actually. And then let's just put this here. Maybe I'll put it a little bit down. Nope. I want this up further. I'm, I'm thinking like your eye, visually, when you look at the book, your eye might go from the highest point down. So rather than having them right next to each other, I want the phone, the megaphone, the phone, whatever it's called, maybe a little bit lower than, that's why I moved that pearl and burlap chunk. Like right there. Let's do it right there. At some point, you gotta just commit, girls. Okay, this I put a little bit close <laughs> to the uh, fold of the page. So let's scooch you before you get too settled in there. I'm gonna scooch you over just a bit. 
Oh, you're sticky. You are sticky on the back. Okay. It's just fun to use up your stuff. And doesn't your eye go like, oh, paper, tape, tape, paper, paper. I don't know what that is. Rice, it is rice paper. But when you're looking at it, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things on that page to make this like conglomerate of interesting things to look at. And I'm tempted to put something else in this corner like a bling. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Thank you, Sybil, for passing out the blessings. Thank you. Thank you, my sweet love. Thanks for doing that. Chrissy says she likes this idea. Yay. Yay. I'm so glad. Um, oh, Joyce, I like that idea. She says, I have a bunch of religious photos from an old calendar that I want to put into a book, into a journal with some religious quotes or Bible verses. Yeah, I call that my spiritual journal, just a place to like reflect in it and expand your mind on things that might have hit you either at church, like a verse or a song, or maybe you're listening to, I listen to Christian radio. Um, so if you're listening to Christian music and there's just a song that hits you, I love to put the lyrics in my spiritual journal. So I think that is such a good idea. I love that idea. Good morning, Sparky Chris. <laughs> Sparky Chris Castelli. What a fantastic name. What a fantastic name. All right. So thanks for fluffing the nest, you guys. If you hit the share button, that helps me so much. Um, let's just take a little peek through this whole book. So I've got the cover and it's a work in progress, you guys. And I love this. I keep my glue books in a bin, a little plastic box by themselves. And every once in a while, when I feel like glue booking I, and at any point, like making the glue book or decorating a glue book, I go to that book and I open it up and I just start playing. And if you have different themed books, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm feeling like I want to work with something pink or I want to work with greens today, or I want to do butterflies. If you have a book that is themed, you could always work on a themed part of your book. It's just always, it's like a, a, a project that's waiting, like ready and waiting whenever you are. These are all blank pages. Um, but so far I'm loving this book and I appreciate, I really, really appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me and joining me and on the fun. Um, it is, let's see, it is 10 29. So I'm at 40, um, 44 minutes. I have one minute left to just um, thank you for being here. Uh, encouraging you guys, check out my website, thecomfinesswithgrace.com. I do sell rice papers and um, craft supplies, all kinds of craft supplies, glues and all kinds of things that you might need to create with um, journals even. And my membership groups are there. So you can check out either the Craft Therapy Club or my Napkin Lovers Club if you want to join craft club where you get together regularly with a small group of people and um, take inspiration from the workshops that I teach. I would love to have you join us. So check that out. Two different options. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. Oops, wrong camera. I wanted to get my face up on there. I appreciate you all so much and I hope you have a, a fantastic day. Bye.